Come back guys, so let's read the let's read this English text for this. So I already have a reference image for the pattern for this piece. So I'm going to be using this reference image for the drafting pattern to kind of create create what I want in here. So let's get started. Um I'm going to be reusing some of this though. Like this front pattern and this back pattern. I'm going to reuse them. Okay, so let's get started on this. So let me just select all of this first. Let me select all of this again. And I'm going to certify them. Maybe one, maybe, maybe one click. Let's do certify first. That do anything? Let me run the simulation. Let's see what we have. Uh, I think I'm supposed to. Solidify. I'll just do a freeze instead. I'll just do a freeze instead. Let me just freeze this up. So I don't. So, so when I can run simulation on this, it won't be simulating at all. It will just be the way it is right now. That it's simulating. So that's exactly what I want. Then I'm going to let me select. Let me try to move. Let me move this out of the way first. Let me just raise all of this up around here. Then I'll select this front piece and this back piece. Let me start with the front piece. And I'll do a Copy. Now do a mirror. Just a normal regular piece should be fine. Okay, it's taking time to load. Okay. Let me see. I think this. No, when I put in a clone, so let's see, clone over. No, 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 we don't, we don't need a clone for this. We don't need a clone for this. I want this to be a completely separate piece, not a clone. This is going to be a completely separate measure, so. Let me just undo that. Okay, so don't ask for that. Then for this, let me see. For this, I'm going to do more or less the same copy, Ctrl V to paste this. <coughs> and just get this down here. Okay, that's fine. I have no idea what this what this piece is in the center. I have absolutely no idea what that is. Save it to delete this. Uh, it doesn't seem to be disturbing uh garment though. Let me just ignore it. So I'm going to delete this internal line. Let me come in here. Let me delete the entire entire piece itself. I'll delete it. I don't need it. Move this. Okay. Okay. Then I'm going to create. See if I can select, I don't know. See if I can select this. 
person seems to be freaking me out. I have no idea what this line is. Okay, so I'm going to create another internal line. So I'm going to start in from the middle all the way to the bottom. From here. Seems to let me let me do this with my mouse instead. Let me just pull out all down sheets all the way to the bottom. Now hit enter to apply that. I'm just gonna kind of put this other part out then do a symmetrical duplicate of this so anything I do I do on one side will be affecting the other side. Okay. Then I would right click inside of this to bring out the options and I'll do a cut. I won't sew them back together, I'll just do a cut. Okay. Now select this piece, I'll delete it. We need it anymore, so I'll just delete that piece. Then I'll do a duplicate, I'll do a mirror version of this. Uh mirror with sewing. Okay, let's do mirror with sewing. Okay. Then I'll go to the sewing option, then I need to, oh this is frozen up, let me select two of these and use activate. Should be in here somewhere. Uh oh, there's a one down here. They went all the way down. Let me just get, get this out. Like so this front piece, I'll just push this front piece out a bit more. Select this to kind of get them in place. Okay. Let me raise them up a bit more like so. Yeah, that should be fine. I didn't see any options in here. It seems like there are no there are, there are no sewing options around there, so that's fine. That's exactly what we want. So let me start manipulating this a bit more to kind of look similar to what we have in here. So I'm going to start by eliminating. I think I'm going to eliminate. Let's let's see. Let me start by raising this up first. Okay, that seems fine. Okay, I guess that seems fine. I guess let's see. Uh, 
maybe you raise it up slightly a bit more like so to be fine okay for the back piece i'm not going to be creating this extra this extra piece at the back i'll just add use a seam brush to kind of add that instead of z brush but i do want to recreate this shape in here at the back so I think this looks somewhat fine though. This should, this should work just fine though. This should work just fine though. This should, work, this, this should work just fine. Okay, so let's kind of let's kind of stitch them up together. Let's stitch them up together. So I'm going to be using these segments. Let me do this from the 3D view. Okay, that seems fine. Do the same for the other side. Let me stitch up these two for the shoulder. Now they are intercepts, they are kind of crossing. I don't want them to cross, so I'm going to reverse that same. Okay. And back to the segment sewing again. Uh, that part seems to be hiding. Let's see what that connects to. Okay, this one is more visible, so let me just do it from this angle instead. This to this. You just make sure they are not crossing. Yeah, they are fine, they are not crossing. Then this piece to this piece. Okay. It's not crossing also. Then I can eat this simulation and then simulate this. Okay. See some adjustment to be made. It's kind of entering into this too much though. Okay. Let me just push it out. Shouldn't be entering that too much. Same here also. Okay. Seems to be entering way too much than I want them to. So I'm going to measure the length for this. Let me see how long this should be. Okay. So I need to extend this at the bottom part even more. If this inner part is giving me too much, too much issue, then I might just have to duplicate this file and then delete, delete, delete the hoodie. And then do this properly on top of the on top of this piece, on top of the model rather. Let me select this, select this also. Holding down shift and extend this down a bit more. Okay, let me run the simulation again. Let 
Okay. Okay, that seems fine. Length seems fine. So let me just make. Let's use this. You can see how the back part is a bit curved at the bottom, at the at the lower part. Here also has some kind of downward slope to it. So let's kind of recreate that, create similar effect. So I'll start from the back piece. So I'm obviously going to use the curve for this. Just extend this down. Do a quick simulation for this. Okay. That seems fine. Then for the front parts, simple brush. We get this a bit close around here. Something more or less like this should be fine. Let me run the simulation again. Uh, maybe not. Okay. Maybe I'll add the points around the uh, That seems to be spoiling everything, even making this a bit worse than it is. So I'm going to just add the points somewhere around here. And I'm going to adjust that point. Just raise this up around here. Okay, getting something. We adjust this like so. Okay. This point, I don't know if maybe I should delete this. Should delete this. Let me see what I'm going to do if I delete it. Oh, that is, that is not what I want. Uh, let's see what happens when I come out to the core points. Hmm. No, I think I'll just leave that as it is. So let's run a simulation for this. Yeah, I think this is this seems fine. This top part is really going to be an issue for me. Top part is really going to be an issue for me, especially creating the color. Most especially creating the color for this. Uh, you know what? Let me give this a separate material. So. 
So let me just name this to shirts. Then I'll just apply apply it to this and this and this also. Alright, maybe give them a different color just to separate them out a bit. Too bright. Something like this should be fine. And let me assign a different. Let me give you some more or less like a letter. Letter material for this. Okay, let me select the shirt instead. Let's look for leather, 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 leather. Okay. Definitely do not like this inner penetration. I think I'll just I think I'll just do that instead, just to be on the safe side. This is not penetration. It's going to give me a, a whole lot of issues later on when trying to create the color for this. So what I'm going to do is to what I'm going to do is to select select all everything that has to do with the hoodie. Let me stop the simulation. Then I'll save this out as garments with metadata uh, let me just name this in the directory folder and I'll save this somewhere else ok and I'll save this again somewhere else Save this where I can easily remember MD files hoodie. Okay. Then I'm still going to do a duplicate of this same file. I'm still going to do a duplicate of this same file. Just to be on the same side. So this is the main file itself. So I'll do a duplicate of this. Maybe not. I think there's a better way to do this. A better way to do this. Let me, let me make sure I click hit save first. Hit save first, then I'll go back. Yeah, and I'll do a save as. Then. Name this shirt. And we save. Okay, so it's just the same here now as shared. So now I can now I can safely delete this. So I have more space to work to work with. Okay.
let's run a simulation again okay so it's resting properly now that seems fine Yes, this looks fine. I think I can even change the material to the default. The default will, the default will be better. It's for creating more wrinkles for this. Uh, let's, let's try this for thing. Okay, not too much change though, but just a very little change. Okay. So now I think I can create the arms now. Let's create the arms for this. So I can work a bit more comfortably on this piece. Let me just create the gap in here. Let's create the arm piece, but this is mostly this is more going to be like a more like a short sleeve kind of do a long sleeve, but with folded folded arms, long sleeve but with folded arms. So this is the shape. This is the shape we're going for. So let's create something like. Let me create something like. This now just connect this back to the top. Okay, that piece is in here. And I'll do a mirror with sewing. Okay, and I'll sew these two up together. I'll sew them together. So I'll do a segment so for these two. No, let me do something like let me measure them instead. Let me merge these two together. Match. So it will be like just one complete piece. Yes, something like this should work just fine. Okay. So I'm going to cover these top points too. So before I do that, let me also kind of measure the distance. I'm not going to measure the length. So the length from let's see. So I have this length is like 24. Then this length is 34. So you need to have something 34. You need to have 34 in here. So let's see how we can make that 34. They are both separate pieces. So let me just select these two down. Hold down shift. Don't know why this okay yeah, is exactly working. Let me do this again. So let's have something all the way to 34. Okay. Be widening this out no I think it should be fine. How many is it when you again? 3469. So 34 6 yeah, this is fine. It should be fine. Maybe even a bit tighter. Around 33. 
33.88 that's fine then i'm going to select this i'm going to do i'm going to convert this point to a curve the 33 plus 33 yes it's more more or less there since it's already measured for, 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 for one half so this should be this should be fine this ought this ought to be fine the report 34 ish so 69 ish so that's in, in addition with the, dec with the decimal figures after that so it should be fine except for making this a bit more interesting maybe i can uh let's add the points here let's add the points here Kind of oops, it's not affecting the other side, it's not affecting the other side. Let me see if I can just seems to be loading. Mm, the rest is not being affected. No, 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 this is not what we want. I think some corrections need to be made on this. For example, moving this down. Seem to have lost that symmetrical feature in there. Let me see if we have it. Yes, we have it back now. Come back to points. How long is it? 72. Don't use so much. No, no. I'm supposed to use the power brush instead. 68, 69, there about. I think this, think this, this should work just fine. This is supposed to work just fine. This should work just fine. Okay, let's see. Let's test. Let's test this out. Let's test this out. Let's test this out. So let's do a mirror. I'm going to mirror this symmetrical mirror to the other side. Symmetrical mirror and symmetri symmetry with them um, sewing on with sewing. So let me select and show you guys what I did. Let me, let me, just, let me just do that again so you can actually show you guys the actual button I use for this. So symmetry with sewing. Let me just move this here. Okay. Let me move this to the other side. This should be on this side. I will take this this way. Out. Or. And bend this down like so. I'll do the same for the other side. Take this this way. Raise this up. Let 
bring these flows up. Somewhere around here should be fine. So I'm going to be using these um, free and sewing for this. So I'll start draw this all the way here. I believe okay. This is this. This is the front piece. Yes, this is the front piece. So click in here all the way, all the way to this point. Let's see what that gives us. Okay, that seems to be accurate enough. Yeah, that's accurate enough. That is accurate enough. Okay. Then we have, let's see, let's figure out where this back piece is at the back of the shirts. You know, is this other side? Is this side? So I'll click all the way here. Then I'll find the corresponding side, which is this. So click here all the way here. Okay, let's see if there's no crossing for it. Okay, there are no crossings for it. I think this should show up correctly. So let's just run a simulation for this. Let's check the other one. Uh, the other piece is not showing, but that's fine. Let's just show that. Let's show that up. So we have this piece all the way to here, then all the way to here. Then it's crossing, they're crossing themselves, so I need to reverse that. So I'll reverse the same for that. Okay, so let's run the simulation for this. Okay, that seems to work. Let's see, let's confirm. That seems to work pretty fine. Yeah, that seems to work just fine. Yeah, that's fine. That's completely fine. Okay. Yes, but though the only thing now is that the arms are way too the arms are way too long. Not a bit more for short time in there. But before I do that, let me just teach do a segment sewing for this and sew this to this piece. So that should affect the other side also. Then I'll run run the simulation for it. Yeah, there's definitely an issue in here. Let me just do, let me just pause that simulation and undo that. So before I run the simulation, let me kind of shorten the length of this. To be more or less around his around his elbow. So on this more or less around his elbow. Yeah, even more, with a bit more. Let's put this a bit higher. Almost there. Even higher. Yes, something. Something around the edge should be fine. 
fine, I guess. Uh, let me run the simulation again. Okay, I need to space this out. Two point five. Put and shift two point five also. So that's fine. Okay. Yeah, this is fine. It's a bit tight though. Uh, let me space it out a bit more. So I can extend this out individually. We have two to know again. Let me add two to two to two the sides. Okay, and run the simulation again. All right, that seems fine. Is this affecting the other side? Okay, yes, it is. Okay. All right. Okay. Guessing it's safe now to create the color. I guess. Okay. I cannot figure something out. I cannot figure something out. Because I need to have some kind of ring around the like kind of pulled up his shirt upwards a bit more so and this will not give me that effect I need in there. So I'm going to push this down. The run a simulation for this. So I'm going to like more or less like manually push this up around the air, like so. So I'm gonna see see some wrinkles around here. Okay, I need to do the same thing for the other side. So I need to freeze. I think, yeah, I think I might need to even let's see. Sure. Let's let's see. So let's see if I freeze this. So maybe to affect the other side. It's not affecting the other side. That's completely fine. So for the other hand piece, I will just let me get this out first. And I'll push this up. Stop the simulation. Raise this up even more. Stop the simulation. Oops. Let me do this again. So I want this to feel a bit more believable, like folded or pulled up sleeves. Okay. 
something more or less like this should be fine okay and I'll freeze this also and I'm going to create a new shape uh, what is this something like so and I'll mirror this to the other side Okay. And I'll push this to up and forward. Let's start with this piece. And just move this in place. So I'm just gonna get them around here because I'm just gonna sew them back to this um this arm piece. Okay. So let me start by sewing this up first. So I'm going to be using the segment so, so I'll sew this bottom part to this piece, uh, I think I'm going to use. I think I would have, I would have to use the free hand so instead. But there's a point at the center, so it's kind of making it look like it's kind of sep separating them into segments, and I don't want that. So let me use the free hand so instead. That seems to be crossing, but that's fine. I'll just reverse. Let's reverse this sewing for this. I will shrink it a bit smaller. I believe that should affect the other one. Is it affecting the other one? Oh, yeah, it is. Okay. Uh, let me, I think I need to increase this now. I activate them. Then let's do a so. Okay. One last thing though. We need to so this both ends together. So can you segment so for this? Just sewing together. Okay. Uh, 
I think there's one more thing we still need to do in here. So I'm going to create an internal line for this, for the top sleeve, and so that to that internal line. Also, we never gonna get the distance for this. So 8.9. So let's get something around 8.9 here also. That's going to see it clearly. Uh, I can't see it clearly, honestly. Let me just do a straight line there first, and then we we'll, then we'll can we can adjust that to fit. Well, I think it's roughly around there though. So I'm going to do the segment so and so this to the internal line. Then run a simulation for it. I think I also, I also need to give it a different fabric so, so the color is a bit more separated. create a new fabric for this just drag and drop them on top okay That should work just fine for now. I'll need to shrink this in a bit more so it's a bit tighter. Drag this up. Is it affecting the other? This one being affected. It's been affected also. We have some inner penetration, so let me see if I can adjust this a bit better. Okay, then I'll just freeze everything that has to do with the arm. Just freeze only one part of Freeze. One freeze and then freeze. Okay, so I think I can work on the color now. Okay, now for the color. Let's see. So let's kind of measure the distance we need for this. 
we'll just see, let me see the back first. Okay. So if I should select this, so these two should be 14 plus 14, that's like 28. And this is like 17. So together we have like 31 with some decimals at the end. But roughly, roughly 31. So roughly 31. So I'm going to create. I'm going to create a new shape. Uh, I'm going to create a new shape. A length of 31. This one looks too wide though. Maybe I'll shrink that down later. Let's see the color. The color piece. Color piece is this. This is the lower part. This should be the upper part. This is more like the lower part now. So let's just. Okay, yeah, the white. Yeah, white seems fine. White seems fine. Let me just let us get this in place. Okay. Just to Hi, do so let me shrink this down a bit more. Something more or less like so. Bring this a bit forward. So let's start sewing this up. So I'm going to use the free hand sew. So we should have like uh all the way this will be like can I do this in this? Can I do this in the 3D view? Okay, I think I can. So, how do we? Uh, I think I believe I can go around this. Can I go around this? Yes, I can. How do we? Yeah. Let me see if this connects all the way. Okay, yeah, it connects all the way to the back. So let's see if we can do something like I'm doing this, doing this again. Let's see if we can connect that all the way here. Is it? Uh, in the, I need to click first. Needed to click first. I don't to, I don't to grab what I don't need though. Uh, it's grabbing what I don't need. It's grabbing what I don't need. Let me undo that. It's grabbing what I don't need. So I need to do this care a bit more carefully. So let's start from here all the way here. Let's see. So that's what. So that is what we have. This is what we have all the way here. So I'll click here and connect this here. Do I need to reverse this though? I need to reverse this because it is not it's crossing. So I need to get this reversed. So I'll reverse this. See? Okay. That matches it completely. Let 
then I will do the same also with the free on two here all the way here I'm guessing there's an issue here, this place is also small I'm guessing I made a miscalculation but that's fine, we can always fix that So let me just be, let me just make sure again. So this is twenty-eight. This two will be twenty-eight. This is up twenty-eight. So let's do the cap let me just do the calculation quickly for this. So it will be twenty-eight that plus seventeen. Yes, I got this all wrong. My creation was wrong, so I'm supposed to be having something around 45, the length of the length of 45. Length of 45 for this color piece. Length of 45. So this two 28 and this two, and this at the back is 45, roughly to 45. So this length of this is supposed to be 45 also. So I'll need to kind of delete all this we added in there. Did this also. I knew there was a miscalculation when the gap in here was just too small. So the length of this rectangle should be 45. So then that shifts roughly, yeah, maybe just this. Yeah, 49, 44.93 is still close enough though, so that, that will still work just fine. I will still work just fine. So now I can do this again and I can do this accurately. Okay, now the length should be the length should work just fine for this now. Then I need to reverse this. Let's reverse this. Then I think segment two should work just fine for this now. So I select ah uh, this entire this an entire segment, so it will not work. So let's just let's just do the same free hand two. Let's do the same free hand two. So we have in here all the way here. Then we can complete that in here. Let me just let's just make sure it's not let's just make sure it is not crossing. Yeah, the sun is not crossing, which is completely fine. So now I'm gonna run a simulation for this. Now this should work. This ought to work correctly. Oh man, there's an issue in here. There's an issue in here. We have an issue in here. It's actually crossing. They're actually crossing. We did not see that correctly. They're actually crossing. So let's reverse this. I believe this. I believe this should work correctly now. Okay. Seems weird though. Seems really weird. And that is really weird. Oh, this is also crossing, so I cannot believe this is crossing also. This seems to be crossing. Is this crossing also? 
seems to be seems to be crossing also. If it doesn't work, then we'll just try to figure out what the issue is and we'll fix that. Finally, so they were actually crossing, so that was the issue for that. They were actually crossing. Okay, so now I think we can safely create mm. well, I think I'm going to push this down a bit more. Let me push this down a bit more. So I'm going to run the simulation now to see what we have. Uh, slight, slightly better though. Okay, so I'm going to duplicate this guy. I'm going to make a duplicate of this. Just symmetry pattern should be fine. This should be broader. No, 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 no. Uh, let's just do a normal regular copy and paste. Let's get this out of the way. Oh, I'm doing this wrongly. I think I am. I believe I'm doing this wrongly. Yes, if I if I remember correctly, let me just can I hide this for now? Let me hide that pattern for now. We will freeze it. On hide show pattern. Let me just get this out of the way first. Think. Let me just get this here. It's frozen, yes. So, what I'm actually going to do is to. This particular one, I'm going to extend this higher. Like so. Then I'm going to add a want to add a point. Let me add the points roughly around the air. Four points. Four point two five. So have this around four point two five. In here also. 
let me get this around 4.25 also not directly 4.25 so let me shrink this in 4.25 holding down shifts the lower part will be 4.25 4.25 not there it's not there yet Yes, in the now 4.25. Let's see where that is. Okay, so I'm going to add an internal line directly in there. Okay, then I believe I can adjust this independently. Yes, I think this point should be a bit smaller. Let me shrink this in. Only simulation for this. Okay. I don't want this to be penetrating in words. Get this out. I need to push this forward. Five point twenty eight. A bit forward also. But I need to make I need to make sure. I need to make sure this internal line is just directly on it also. There's a reason for this, so I'm going to show you guys in a bit. So now I can select that internal line. Yeah, okay, come in here. You know what's this, what is this called? Fold arrangements. I click on this fold arrangements. I click on this line. I believe yes, something like this. I think that should and I run this I run, run, run a simulation for this. I don't know if that should stick though. I don't know how that will stick. Okay. Not bad. Just to come down more. Maybe I should do this again. Let me push this down even more. Seems to be risen up way too high. So let me undo that. Oh man, I'm overdoing this. This is way too much. Ah, so I need to redo this again. Okay. 
Okay, so let me use that same tool again. This time around, I will go to the extreme, more towards the extreme. Now, run, run a simulation for this. Since the penetrating it was way too much. Okay. Do not like how this is just flying up way too high. I need to pin this though to pause the simulation. Now use the pin. Now pin. What am I be pinning? Just do a pin. Let me get this. Seems to be seems to be way off. Let's pin this side. Do the same for the other side. Okay. That's in the spine. I run, run the simulation again, so that should kind of stick the a bit more. Okay. Should work just fine, I guess. This will work just fine. Except for let me go out of this pin. Except for one last thing we can do in here. So we have this piece. We have this piece in here. Uh don't know. Probably put this in here or use okay. Let's let just let's just let's just fix that in there. Let me just fix that in there. So I'm going to just draw another be as long as this. It's not completely accurate though. We need to fix. We need to fix that. Oh no. I think there's a better there's a better way to do this. Instead of drawing, let me just draw a rectangle instead. That should that should be better. That should be a better way of doing it. Yes, so I'll just draw a rectangle like so. Okay. This good enough. Extend this out a bit more, like so. Okay. You get this in here. Let's check the length for this. So this is 2.81. Mm. So 
so I should be creating an internal line distance in here I don't know distance in here should be though let's just get the internal line from roughly around here All the way, let me hold on that straight line all the way here and hit enter to apply that. Okay, I don't know if that will be long enough though. Only tell if that would be fine. Should be fine. Let me, let me just let me push it backwards a bit more. Yeah, maybe too much. Think maybe it's a bit too much. Maybe somewhere around here. Now select this and make sure it goes all the way to the end. Do the same here, make sure it goes all the way to the end. Okay, I think I can stitch this up now. Segments won't work though. Segments teaching will not work. Let's see. Let's see. Nope, it's not working. So the best we can do is to stitch. Is to sew this to this this one. This one. Did you sew? Uh, did not. Since send somewhere else. Let me try this again. This to this. Yes. Yes, exactly there. Then this to this. Let me see if I can show you guys what I just did. Okay, it should be fine. So let's stitch this. Let's sew this off. So I'm running the simulation now. Let's see what that gives us. Yeah, something rough. Yeah, this is this is fine. Something roughly around here should work just fine. Okay, see if I'm done with this. Seems to be moving inwards. Let's get this facing points instead. I'm guessing we need to compensate for it. Let's do a free and so all the way here, then from here all the way. Mm, it's longer than necessary though. Uh, let's, just, let's just put it in there. Let's do that up. Let's see what that gives us.
that seems to, that seems to work fine. I'm not sure this is working correctly though. I'm not so sure if that is working correctly. It seems to be a bit off. I don't know if I need to get this piece in here, if it's completely necessary or not. Mm. I think just to keep things a bit simple, I might not be adding that. Just to keep things a bit simple, I'll, I'll, let, me not, let me remove that. I don't have that in there, it seems to be messing things up pretty much. So I'll just eliminate all the sewing for that. Same here also. And just hide this piece somewhere or don't even put it out of the way. Then just do a freeze for it. This piece, I don't need this piece anymore, so I don't really need it for this. Let me run my sim let me run the simulation again. I think I need, to, I need to delete that in now. I need to delete that in now. Probably the inner line like this. Hmm. Okay, this will be fine. So I, can, I can definitely live with this. So let me freeze everything. And give them more, give them more activities, give them more holy counts. This, this should be here's yes, in quads, so in quads. Then the okay, particle distance radio of 15. I think everything has a partial distance of 15. Okay, that's fine. So, yeah, that's fine. Let me think of this. I need to push this guy way, way off screen. I think this should be fine. This is definitely fine. I can work with this. So I'll see you guys in the next lesson. We'll create the pants for this. So bye for now.